NFL 97. Thank you, JB. And, John, this is a big game for both of these teams. There's an extra energy and excitement in the air. What does a coach say to these guys before a big game? You know, usually the bigger the game, the less you say as a coach. It's the ones that you're a big favorite and you're afraid that they're going to sneak up on you. In a game like today, no one can sneak up on anyone. I mean, everyone has to be excited. If you can't get excited for a game like today, then you don't have any blood in your veins. So everyone is excited. So if a coach is going to do anything, it has to be calm the team down, not get them more excited than they already are. Thank you, JB. And, John, we've seen a lot of changes to the game over the years, the two-point conversion, the play clock, the new rules about intentional grounding, and so on. Is the game, though, fundamentally different from the way it was when you were coaching, or are the basics still the same? No, the basics are still the same. You have to be able to block and you have to be able to tackle, but the game has changed. I mean, this is really a passing game today and situation substitution. I mean, every down they have different players, and that's, that's a big change from when I coached. Thank you, JB. And, John, our visiting team isn't used to playing in this kind of heat. What kind of problems is that going to give them? Well, I think the problems occur in the second half. I think it's one of those things that you get more tired, and especially the big guys. I mean, a big guy can sweat and lose like 20 pounds in a game like today. And so I think it's going to show in the second half, and it's going to show with the big guys, the offensive and defensive linemen. Thank you, JB. John, I know you've always preferred outdoor football on real grass. Why is that? Is it really better to play the game that way? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, when they made the game, they made it to be played on grass. I always felt that it should be on grass. Uh, the other thing is I think there's less injuries. And, you know, you don't get that pounding. Your foot doesn't get caught in the carpet where the only thing that can go is a joint. I think it's a, it's a better game to play, and I think it's safer for the players. Well, thank you, JB. And, John, except in the Super Bowl, one team is always on familiar ground. How do you feel about the home field advantage? Well, the advantage is really the crowd and being able to play and get a response for everything you do well, then the crowd goes wild. But the thing is, you have to be ahead and you have to give the crowd something to cheer about. Now, if you're the visitor, it's very important that you get off to a good start, you get ahead, and you make the home team play uphill. Thank you, JB. And, John, we've got a great running team going up against a great passing team, and their defenses are just about even. Who do you think has the advantage here? I think in the NFL and professional football that the passing team always has the advantage, uh, especially when it scores 0-0 zero, zero, or if they're behind. Now, the running team has the advantage if there's any bad weather going into the wind, and then when they get ahead to run time off the clock. Well, J.B., you're right. John, how did the Madden Cruiser get over here? <laughs> it was tough. We drove to San Francisco, went over the Golden Gate Bridge, and I said to someone, where's Hawaii? They said, go over the Golden Gate Bridge, turn left. So I go over the Golden Gate Bridge, and I turn left. Well, left, all there is is water. So we go, Phew! and we sunk. So then we put some other stuff to get us up some pontoons, and then we kind of floated, but I looked and I said, this is going to take like two months if we do this. So there was a ship going by. And I said to the ship, where are you going? They said, we're going to Hawaii. I said, so are we. Can we get on? They said, yeah. So they let us get on. So we, we got, we were on the Golden Gate Bridge, took a left, ended up in the water, ended up on a ship, and here we are. Thank you, JB. And John, special teams never get as much attention as the offense and the defense do. Do you think they get enough credit, and how important are they really to a coach? 
Well, you know, when you get to that play and you need a field goal, that's the most important guy out there. When you need a good kickoff or a good punt or whatever. And I think we always have to remember that, that field position is so important. And it's the special teams that dictate field position. Thank you, JB and John. We've got a warm weather team coming here to play in the cold. Are they at a serious disadvantage? I think it's a serious disadvantage because they spend all week talking about it. You know, instead of thinking about the plays and what they're going to do and how they have to do it, they're thinking about how cold it's going to be and how they're going to try and get warm. And I really think it takes their concentration off the game. Thank you, JB and John playing in the dome as we are today. The crowd's a big factor. You got a lot of noise. Are these two teams going to do anything differently? Well, of course, the, the visiting team always has to. And the, the problem is that third and long because then the crowd makes all the noise and the tackles can't hear to get off on the snap. But they're wearing a special thing in their ear that they can hear the quarterback today. So that's going to help a little. Well, thank you, JB and John. It's been raining pretty hard now for several hours. How does that rain affect the game plan? You know, it really shouldn't. The one thing we know, the players are going to get muddy, so they're going to look like real football and real football players. And the key on a rainy day is just to keep the footballs dry. So I think if the officials can do that, if the officials can keep the football dry, we can still have a good passing game here today. Thank you, JB. And, John, it looks like there's going to be a lot of snow on the field throughout this game. How is that going to affect the players today? Well, you know, players really like to play in snow once the game gets started. They can, you know, if they score a touchdown, for example, they can make a snow angel. But you have to get the snow, try and keep it off the field, and then keep the footballs dry. And, again, you would think that passers wouldn't like a day like today, but passers love this because I'll tell you what it does. It slows down the pass rushers. Thank you, JB and John. We do have a lot of wind today. What do you think our teams will do to compensate for that? Well, you know, the first thing is going to be the team that wins the toss. In other words, do you elect to kick off or would you rather receive? Now, if you kick off, then you can take the wind. If you receive, you have to go against the wind. And I think that when you have a real windy day, you just play a half a game. When you're going into the wind, like today, there's no way you can throw the ball. So you have to control the ball, hope the quarter gets over quickly, and then you get the wind. And when you get the wind, then you have to do your passing and your scoring. Thank you, JB, and welcome to the conference championship game. And John, one of these teams will go to the Super Bowl. The other one will go home. And that's got to be on every player's mind. The question is, are both teams ready? Does a coach ever face a situation where he doesn't feel that his team is ready to give their best? Yeah, I think there are times as a coach you feel that way, but that's usually in preseason and maybe early in the season. But when you get to today's game and you're in the conference championship and you know that if you win today, you're in the Super Bowl, if you lose, you go home, I'll tell you, everyone is going to give their best today. You can't beat this situation. Thank you, JB and John. Now that we're in the playoffs, the stakes are higher for everybody. How does that affect the team? Is it hard to keep your concentration? No, I mean, it's, it's just hard to keep your feet in the ground. I mean, when you get to this, this, this is the most exciting day of the year for all these players. And the thing that really brings that excitement is the finality. Because we know the team that wins, they keep going on in the playoffs. The team that loses today, their season's over. Thank you, JB, and welcome to Super Bowl 31. And, John, it all comes down to this. As a veteran of two Super Bowls yourself, tell us what the head coach is doing in these last few minutes before the game. Did you think about anything special or do anything special just before the game? No, you, you just can't wait. You know, it's been so long because you have the two weeks. You win the conference championship, and then you have the week at home, and then you have the week at the Super Bowl. And now it all comes down. It's going to happen. It's going to start in 10 or 15 minutes, and you just can't wait. I mean, it's the type of thing that you're in that locker room, and, and all you want to do is get out of there and start the game. And there's nothing left to say. I mean, everything that can be said, you've already said, and there's only one thing left to do, and that's go out on the field and do it.
Hello and welcome to the opening week of NFL football. I'm James Brown. Well, this week the Atlanta Falcons take on the Carolina Panthers in their new stadium, and we have a rematch of Super Bowl 25 as Buffalo visits the New York Giants. Right now, let's go to John Madden and Pat Summerall, who are at the stadium. Hello and welcome to week two of the NFL. I'm James Brown. In the AFC East, we have New England versus Buffalo, a game that could well turn into a shootout. And in the NFC West, St. Louis's new high-powered offense will be tested against the San Francisco 49ers. Now for today's game, here are John Madden and Pat Summerall, who are at the stadium. Hello and welcome to week three of great NFL football. I'm James Brown. This week, two of the best running backs in the game go head to head as Emmitt Smith and the Dallas Cowboys take on the Indianapolis Colts and Marshall Falk. Now let's go out to the stadium where John Madden and Pat Summerall are standing by. Hello everyone, I'm James Brown. It's week four of the NFL and we've got a battle for New York as the Jets play the Giants, a game in which both teams will have home field advantage. And in a rematch of Super Bowls 27 and 28, the Dallas Cowboys will face the Buffalo Bills. And you can be sure that Buffalo will be out for revenge. Right now, let's go out to John Madden and Pat Summerall for today's game. Hello and welcome to week five of the NFL. This week, Kansas City and San Diego will go head-to-head -head in an AFC West showdown, while in the NFC East, the Cowboys and Eagles will square off Monday night in Philadelphia. Right now, let's go out to the stadium where Pat Summerall and John Madden are standing by for the start of today's game. Hello everyone, I'm James Brown. It's week six of NFL football and we'll see two high-powered offenses at work as the Atlanta Falcons visit the Detroit Lions. On Monday night, a big AFC showdown as the Steelers confront the Chiefs. Now here are John and Pat at the stadium. Hello and welcome to week seven of the NFL. I'm James Brown. Two playoff rematches of note as Miami travels to Buffalo and the 49ers head to Green Bay. Right now, let's take you out to John Madden and Pat Summerall. Hello everyone and welcome to week eight of the NFL. We have some great divisional matchups coming your way this weekend as the Buffalo Bills take on the New York Jets in the AFC East and the New York Giants drop in on the Washington Redskins in the NFC East. Right now, let's go out to the stadium where John Madden and Pat Summerall are standing by. Hello and welcome to week nine of great NFL football. It's the Battle of the Bays this week as Tampa Bay travels to Green Bay. We'll see how well the Bucks can handle the cold. And in another interesting matchup, to say the least, the Cowboys will visit their former coach in Miami. Now over to John and Pat at the stadium. Hello everyone and welcome to the EA Sports Studio. I'm James Brown. It's week 10 of the NFL and this week San Diego takes on Indianapolis in a rematch from last year's playoffs while the Broncos face the Raiders in an AFC West showdown. Now for today's game, here are John Madden and Pat Summerall. Hello and welcome to week 11 of the NFL. I'm James Brown. This week we have a big battle in the AFC East as the New England Patriots take on the New York Jets. Out West, an important rivalry heats up as Dallas visits San Francisco. Right now, let's go to John Madden and Pat Summerall at the stadium.
Hello everyone, I'm James Brown. Week 12 of the NFL brings us a rematch of last year's NFC Championship as Green Bay visits the Dallas Cowboys. Right now, let's go out to the stadium where John Madden and Pat Summerall are standing by with today's game. Hello and welcome to week 13 of the NFL. I'm James Brown. The races are starting to heat up and this week we have two big games in store. Detroit visits Chicago in the NFC Central Division and the San Diego Chargers take on the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC West. Right now let's go out to the stadium for today's game where Pat Summerall and John Madden are set to call the action. Gentlemen. Hello everyone and happy Thanksgiving weekend. I'm James Brown. This is the 14th week of the NFL football season and as the races get tighter, we have some important matchups scheduled. The Washington Redskins will travel to Dallas to meet the world champion Cowboys and San Francisco's fierce rivalry with Atlanta continues unabated as the 49ers face them down south. Now let's go out to John and Pat at the stadium. Hello and welcome to week 15 of the NFL. I'm James Brown. This week the races in the Western Divisions are spotlighted as Atlanta takes on New Orleans in the NFC and Kansas City meets the Oakland Raiders in the AFC. Now let's go out to the stadium for today's game with Pat Summerall and John Madden. Hello everyone and welcome to the EA Sports Studios. It's the penultimate week of the NFL season with several important games to be played this weekend. Indianapolis and Kansas City square off in a rematch of last year's playoff game, while in the NFC Central Division, the Packers face the Lions. Now let's go out to John Madden and Pat Summerall. Hello and welcome to week 17, the final week of the NFL regular season. I'm James Brown. With playoff spots still up for grabs, there are several critical divisional games on tap this weekend. The Broncos travel to sunny San Diego to face the Chargers. Minnesota is at Green Bay and New Orleans is at St. Louis. Finally, just three weeks after their last meeting, the Dallas Cowboys once again confront their old rivals, the Washington Redskins. Now let's go out to John and Pat for today's big game. Hello everyone and welcome to the AFC Championship game. I'm James Brown. Only 60 minutes of football stands between these two teams and a trip to New Orleans. John Madden and Pat Summerall are standing by at the stadium to bring you today's great game. Hello everyone and welcome to the divisional playoffs. Now in each of today's games, one team has come from the wild card round and one team has had a week off. The winner goes to the conference championship game. Now after 18 weeks of football, it's make or break time for these eight squads. Right now, let's take you out to John and Pat at the stadium for today's exciting game. It's halftime here at Super Bowl 31, and while the two best teams in football reconsider their strategies, let's take a look at some of the halftime stats. Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Right now, let's take a look at the halftime stats. Hello and welcome to the NFC Championship. I'm James Brown. Now the prize for winning today's game is a Super Bowl berth. Let's go out to Pat Summerall and John Madden at the stadium to see who will earn one. Welcome back to the EA Sports Studios. As another great season of football comes to a close, let's take a last look at the stats from Super Bowl 31.
Hello and welcome to the EA Sports Studio for the Pro Bowl. Now that the season is over, the Pro Bowl is a special opportunity to watch the best players in the NFL in action together. Let's go out to Honolulu where John and Pat are standing by. And gentlemen, I'm sure I speak for everyone when I ask, how did John and the Madden Cruiser get to Hawaii? Hello, everyone, and welcome to the EA Sports Studios, where we're getting ready to bring you Super Bowl 31. From the earliest days of training camp, nearly seven months ago, through the preseason and the 17 grueling weeks of regular season play, through the wild card round and the divisional playoffs and the conference championship, it all comes down to this. The two teams we're about to see have already surmounted terrible odds. With brawn and brains, they have fought their way past 28 fierce competitors to arrive at this point. They are the best teams in professional football. And today, they will do battle for the title of NFL champion. Now let's go to the NFL's finest broadcast team, Pat Summerall and John Madden standing by in New Orleans. Hello and welcome to the wild card round of the NFL playoffs. I'm James Brown. Now from here on out, every game is critical. We should see some great football today, so let's go out to John Madden and Pat Summerall for today's game. Thank you, JB and John. It's a special occasion when the all Madden team gets together to play. What should we look for today? You can't beat something like this. I mean, you, you know, on offense, you got those big old offensive linemen that are, you know, blowing the defense off the line of scrimmage. If you want to run, great pass protectors. On defense, just guys that go after them. If you throw a ball, if you get rid of it, we got guys downfield covering. On special teams, we always say special teams breed fanaticism, so guys are just going crazy. And, heck, if you play with the all Madden team, I don't think you can lose. Well, thank you, JB and John, how appropriate it is for us to be here in Green Bay, the home of the all Madden team. What do you think we should look for in today's game? Well, you know, an exciting game because the all Madden team loves to play here at Lambeau Field. You know, you, you drive in in the bus and you go past uh, Lombardi Avenue and then you go into the stadium and you see that, you know, the crowd is there and everyone's cheering its regular grass. And, and if we can get excited, you know, the all Madden team, they always play excited anyway, you know that. But when they really get excited is when they play here in Green Bay. 